digital watches. There are hundreds of colorful designs and variety of shapes and sizes. But how does it work? And what is the principle behind this piece of art? This is a simple two buttons watch and I will disassemble it to see what it consists of. First, let's uncase the module container. Then unscrew and lift off the printed circuit board. Like any other electronic device, this watch powered by a cell battery. And digits that show time and date will appear on this LCD display. Let's go back to the printed circuit board and see its components. Here in the center, a microchip coated with epoxy, which controls, processing, and manipulates the digits on the LCD display. The LCD display connectors. The quartz crystal oscillator, cased inside this silver-colored component. When the electric current passing through the quartz crystal, the crystal will deform and causing it to vibrate. 32,768 times in a second. That counted and measured by the microchip, which control the time and display it on the LCD. The LCD consisting of layers that looks like a sandwich. Two polarizer filters that allow the light to pass through them on a condition. Two layers of glass coated with a transparent conductive material on the inner surfaces that will act as a cathode and the anode of the display. The liquid crystal, which if it's charged, will be the condition to allow light to pass or not. And finally, the reflective surface, which reflect the light through the LCD display. And here's the layers demonstration. Now let's have a look on a single digit. To show a digit on the display, the number 5 for instance, we have to switch on the following segments. But if we count all the segments on this simple display for each digit, we must have at least 25 connections. But there's only 13 connection on the PCB. So what's the trick? Let's have a look on the two glass layers and see the transparent schematics. The top or front layer and the bottom or back layer. And as you can see, the gray segments are the intersections area between the two layers which will appear when turning on. Let's talk more about them. At first, let's switch off all the segments. And if we turn on the connection number 1 from the back layer and the connection number 2, 3, 8 from the front layer, we will have this shape that looks like the letter C flipped to the left. Now let's assume that we want to show the time quarter past 12 on the watch. Switch on the connection number 1 from the back layer and the connection 2, 3, 5, 8, 10, 11 and 12 from the front layer in order to have the shape in the bottom. And again, let's switch everything off. Now let's switch on the connection number 13 from the back layer and the connection number 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10 and 12 at the same time from the front layer. So we have this shape on the bottom. Now let's repeat the two steps in a very fast way 
that human eyes don't note the flicking in order to have our time showing on the display. Thank you for watching. Have a good time.